We are now joined by Mr. Parth Jindal, founder, JSW Sports and Inspire Institute of Sport. And Parth, before I get into specifics of athletes, I just want to ask you personally, how have the Commonwealth Games been for you? We have been very pleasantly surprised by a, by a few sports, by a few medals coming from sports that we probably didn't expect that much. For you, as a fan of Indian sport as well, how has the entire tournament been? No, I think it's been uh, an absolutely wonderful show uh, by the Indian contingent. I think from someone who's deeply involved in Indian sport, I think a lot of this is on expected lines. And I think we, this was going to be the breakthrough or the breakout Olympic game, uh, the Commonwealth Games for the track and field contingent. And, uh, you know, I think that's been really uh, just amazing to watch. Uh, but I think bigger, bigger targets are there up ahead for all of them uh, with the Asian Games next year and then the Olympic Games. So I think the Commonwealth Games is very much a stepping stone uh, to, the, to the real thing, which is the Olympics. All right. Uh, the real thing, you're making us more greedy now. We have been greedy throughout the course of the past nine or ten days. And like I said, now I get into specifics. You've already mentioned athletics. So I want to start off with Eldos Paul and Abdullah Abu Bakr because, you know, you spoke about how you've been involved with sport as well. Inspire Institute of Sport has done its bit. And yet, was there an element of, wow, how did this happen in the triple jump? Was this expected for you? No, absolutely. I think uh, if you look at their jumps in the Federation Cup, if you look at their performance at the World Championships in Oregon, um, I think it was on expected lines that, you know, 17 meters, 16.95 meters and above uh, will give them a medal. I'm, I'm absolutely devastated for Praveen. Uh, yeah. he, he, you know, he was very, very close to getting, making it a 1-2-3 for India. And actually going into, going into the Commonwealth Games, he, he was the second best Indian jumper after Eldo's Paul. So I think overall, I think Abu Bakr did a fantastic show. And, you know, I was, I was just waiting for, for them. I was waiting for Avinash Sable because he got kind of boxed in in Oregon um, and he couldn't really, you know, show his, his, his pace and his improvement. But boy, did he break the Kenyan jinx and did he come, you know, a microsecond away from creating probably what would have been the biggest upset ever in the Commonwealth Games across any sport. 